It's the next best thing to a living dinosaur. A species that has survived for some 10 million years. An enormous predatory lizard that can eat a whole deer and even kill a man with one bite. Its name, the Komodo dragon. They say the dragons can smell a carcass, rotting carcass from 15 kilometers away. Uh, you've got a mouth full of uh, curved, serrated teeth. Very unusual among the lizards. I mean, they're much more like shark's teeth. Animal X traveled to the dragon's homeland, Komodo Island in Indonesia, to unravel the mystery and myth behind the world's biggest reptile. We discovered a desolate place, more reminiscent of the Arizona desert than a tropical jungle. Dangerous seas surround Komodo Island, almost as if protecting it from outsiders. The islands were formed by tectonic plates which collide beneath tempestuous waters, fraught with rips, whirlpools, and extreme tidal changes. Komodo is also home to active volcanoes and other bizarre creatures like giant spiders that spend their days basking in the sun. We took a much-traveled route to find the Komodo dragon in its natural habitat, and soon there were signs that we were on the right path. Before us, the distinctive trails left by the Komodo's tail in the sand. Then, the remnants of a recent feast, the antlers of a deer, and finally, the dragon's dung, made up of nothing more than hair and bone. Suddenly, we realized we had company. Not surprisingly, nothing preys on this animal, except its own kind. The Komodo is a cannibal and will eat another lizard after it has died. Its saliva alone is enough to kill, as it contains a deadly bacteria for which there is no known cure. Such a terrifying creature should provoke some fearsome folklore amongst local villagers, and that's exactly what it's done. There are many variations on the story as to how both the people and the dragons came to be in Komodo. Uh, and they believe that there's some kind of psychic link between them and the dragons. They believe that uh, once long ago, there was a woman who gave birth to um, a human child and a dragon. And she was very embarrassed about this. And the dragon uh, <clears throat> went away, the dragon was upset too, and went away and uh, lived in exile up in the mountains. She or she lived in, in exile already anyway, being ashamed about having delivered a dragon. But that the dragon would come back and visit her, being one of her offspring, uh, and never do her any harm. Mysteriously, the end of that tale has held true. So far, no Komodo villagers are known to have been attacked by the dragons. But on the neighboring islands, it's a different story. <laughs> 